Good morning, McDonald Elementary School. This is Mr. Ortiz with today's morning announcements. That's right. Oh, thank you. That's right. So today is Thursday, November 4th, 2021. Please stand and join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance and the Diversity Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge to treat everyone that I would like to be treated. I will be accepting of people from all backgrounds and show them respect. I pledge to learn about other cultures and develop an appreciation for everyone's uniqueness. Woo. All right, everyone. So today is Thursday, November 4th, 2021. And today is Common Sense Day. Yes, we got to have some common sense, especially Woo. when we're making good choices. All right. So today's word of the day is optimist. It is a noun. An optimist is a person who expects good things to happen. Optimist. Boys and girls, would you would you say that I expect good things to happen? Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I'm an optimist. And boys and girls who are watching the morning announcements, being an optimist is a really good thing. It's kind of like when you see a glass of water that's half full. You see it as half full, not as half empty. Oh, we have a birthday today. Happy birthday to Elijah from A10. All right. Happy birthday. There you go. That's right. All right. <laughs> okay, so this week's Bulldog Pride Challenge is to say thank you to the people who help you every day and who are kind to you. Let's think about these people. Your parents, right? Boys and girls, your parents? Yeah. 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 Bus drivers? Yeah. yeah. How about, oh yeah, don't forget the principal. Thank you. Who said that? Okay, great job. Yep. Okay, uh, your cafeteria workers, bus drivers, secretaries, your teachers, your classmates. Mr. Van Buren, and yes, your principals, you know, we take great pride in helping you. Take a moment to thank those people. And I want to say thank you to everyone who gives me a Kit Kat because that's like you saying thank you to me. And it definitely encourages me to keep showing kindness. And when you say thank you to people, it encourages them to keep doing the best that they can do. All right, I'm going to throw it over to James, the weatherman Lamoureux with today's weather update and see what he has in store for Common Sense Day. Woo! Take it away, James. Good morning, Bulldogs. Today's weather will be somewhat cloudy with a high of 51 degrees. Today is National Use Your Common Sense Day. Common sense is using good judgment and making good choices. You could explain using common sense comes from experiencing something once and then reminding yourself not to do it again because it wasn't a very good idea. Some examples could be not putting your trash into a trash can. You all know to trash your trash. Touching something you know is hot and could burn you, but you know not to touch it anyway. Ouch, I won't do that again. Crossing the street when there are cars coming. You should wait until it's safe to cross. Remember to use your common sense today. Have a great day, Bulldogs, bye. Thank you, James, for that update. Now, I'm gonna throw it over to my friend Gavin, who's joining me because he's gonna be featured on this section of celebrating cultures. As you know, boys and girls, we have a number of cultures that are represented here at McDonald. Well, Gavin is going to share some of his culture with us. He's, a cur he's currently in third grade, Mrs. Cuddle. So check out this segment. Good morning, boys and girls. It's Mr. Ortiz again, and I'm here with my friend Gavin from Mrs. Cuddle's classroom in third grade. And Gavin's here to, to share with us a little bit about his culture. Remember, we celebrate cultures and diversity here at McDonald. Now, Gavin, why don't you introduce yourself and let us know what it is that you want to share with us? Well, I want to um, share with you one thing that my mom wrote down for me to tell you about Diwali. Um, now, Diwali is what you're here to talk to us about, right? Yeah. All right. Tell us what Diwali is. Diwali is like, it's a victory like over good and evil and knowledge over ignorance. It's like, and it's referred to like the festival of lights because it's like good mm -hmm. over like bad stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah. So it's referred to as the festival of lights mm -hmm. and it represents like good over evil, like the good over the bad stuff, okay? And who's it celebrated by? I think you have some information here that maybe you can read to us. 
celebrated by the Hindus. Okay. And and the Jains, Sikhs, and some Buddhists, and kids like me who are in 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 Indian a century. Okay, so it's of of people who have Indian ancestry. He has Asian Indian ancestry. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yep. From your dad's side. Yeah. Awesome. Now, can you read this part to us right here where it says Diwali is often? Yeah, Diwali is often referred as the festival of lights. Mm. Because Diwali represents a victory over light, over darkness. And you shared that with us, right? The light over the darkness piece. Yeah. Now, we have some pictures to show, don't we? Yeah. Oh, awesome. All right. So why don't you talk to us about this first picture here? Well, that's me and my family outside the temple. Um, my dad's the one in the purple shirt holding me. Mm-hmm. My mom's right next to me with the pink shirt. My grandmom's right next to my dad. And my grandpa is right next to my grandmom. And my um, aunt is right next to my grandpa. And my uncle is on the other side, like on the last of the other on side. On the right end there, to, right? Yeah, right next on to On the right. Aunt. Cool. Yeah. And so we have another picture. And the clothes, can you talk about the clothes that they're wearing before we switch? Uh, yeah, um, the, so the boys are wearing, like, um, I think it's called the kurta, kurta. Oh, okay, cool, cool, awesome. And then here's another picture of you and your family, and those look like your grandparents yeah. in the temple? Yeah. Cool. And, and this temple, correct me if I'm wrong, this is where you and your family go to worship, right? Yeah. Awesome, awesome. And then we have one more picture here of, of you, I believe. Here it is. Yeah, that's me outside. The sign, just it just says Happy Diwali. Mm-hmm. And that's me just... And, and you're wearing a kurta. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Well, Gavin, hey, thank you so much for sharing about your culture. So Diwali starts on what day? November 4th. That's today. So today is November 4th. That's why we're celebrating your culture because it starts today. How long does it normally last for? Um, About like uh, five days. Five days. So if today's November 4th and it lasts five days, uh, November 9th, right? Yeah. Now, I think you share with me sometimes it's, it starts maybe late October or early November, right? Yeah. It's not always the same time every year. Mm-hmm. Okay, great. So there you have it. Our friend Gavin from A25, Mrs. Cuddle's room, sharing a little bit about his Asian Indian culture where they celebrate Diwali, which starts on November 4th. That's today. Thank you, Gavin. We appreciate you. Thanks. You're welcome. And we hope you enjoyed this segment. Thank you, Gavin, for that update and for sharing a little bit about your culture. It was really interesting, and we really, truly appreciated it. All right, those are all the announcements we have for today, boys and girls. Remember the four Bs plus one. Be kind. Be safe. Be ready. Be your best. And the fifth B? Be happy. That's right. Have a great learning day. Adios. Bye. Bye.